Welcome back! It's Poetry Friday, and that means it's time to look at a poem together on Friday. Uh, but this time not on my lunch, because it's homecoming. And that means we're gonna be having festivities instead of lunch. It's the beginning of one of my very favorite seasons of all, fall. I love fall, autumn. Who doesn't love fall? Those crazy people who like flesh-searing temperatures. Anyway, we're looking at a fall poem today, which is Spring and Fall to a Young Child by Gerard Manley Hopkins. My middle name is Manley. Okay. Hopkins is one of the most fun poets to read because his language is so much fun to pronounce, but he's really dense and really hard to understand on the first go through usually. Margaret, are you grieving over Golden Grove unleaving? Leaves, like the things of man, you with your fresh thoughts care for, can you? Ah, as the heart grows older, it will come to such sights colder by and by. Nor spare a sigh, though worlds of wainwood leaf meal lie. And yet you will weep, and know why. Now no matter, child, the name, sorrow's springs are the same. Nor mouth had, no, nor mind expressed, what the heart heard of, ghost guessed. It is the blight that man was born for. It is Margaret you mourn for. I love the density of his language. I love the way he plays with sound so intensely. I love the idea of a little child grieving over the leaves falling and how she's crying that the leaves have all fallen on the ground now. And at first it seems a very simple image. Oh, you're crying over leaves. How adorably childish. And yet there is something in that human sorrow that reverberates with him as a speaker and reminds him of the fact that all of us have a deep inner grief, the fact that things don't last, that, that, that change comes and that things fade away. But even though fall is a fading of things and a, a changing time, it's still a time that it's really hard not to love because it's a fulfillment, perhaps, of all the promises of summer. And when Margaret grows up and no longer cries over fallen leaves, uh, nor spares a sigh, though worlds of Wainwood leaf mill lie, no matter how many leaves fall, she's not going to cry for them anymore, yet she will perhaps understand this idea of grief more richly and more intensely. Thanks for watching. I hope you will go out there and enjoy the fall. Click up here to watch the previous video, click here to watch the next video, or click down here to subscribe. Meanwhile, I will sit here and drink my coffee. There is a fine balance between parenting, grading, sleeping, and video editing. And the one to go is usually sleep. But that's okay, as long as you have an endless supply of coffee. <sighs> I'm gonna go get another cup. See ya.